Hey everyone, so you know reaction videos are not really my thing, but when FromSoft drops the official gameplay reveal and release date for Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, I have to be there to check it out. Yeah, this was literally uploaded like one hour ago. Uh, yeah, gameplay reveal sounds exciting and the release date, we're gonna be reacting to this blind. Hopefully the release date is soon. I mean, the game is supposed to be coming out this year, but this year can mean a lot of things. So yeah, let's check it out because I've been playing Armored Core recently, uh, just checking out the games uh, ahead of this game. So yeah, this is going in completely blind. Let's go ahead and see what this game is all about. Gonna have to mess with the volume here a little bit. I can't believe this is actually happening. FromSoft is making another armor core. I've been waiting for this or asking for this for so long. Verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Feed the fire. Very Dark Souls-ish. Very, and yeah, I will be pausing during this to comment. Obviously, I'm not like XQC just gonna sit through like 20 minute video in silence. The environments are wow, okay. Man, the environments are looking real nice. Uh, that's one of the things, because like I said, I'm playing the series, I'm currently playing AC3, and man, that game is a 2002 game if I've ever seen one in terms of environments. That last cinder burn. Man, you know, this is one of those things. I've talked about this before. So, FromSoft have pretty much confirmed that the game, gameplay-wise, is not going to be Dark Souls in space, but I'm really hoping that it's also not going to be Dark Souls in space from a story perspective. I mean, this, like, let the last cinders burn. It could be just, like, a little bit of a reference to the Souls series, but, man, I'm really hoping that FromSoft moves past some of the tropes they have in all of their games. Like, I know it's like sort of a joke and you can say that it, whether it's true or not, but essentially all of the Soul series, Elden Ring, Bloodborne, whatever, have extremely similar stories and very similar themes. So I'm hoping Armored Core will do something a little bit different. And again, story-wise, it's not just going to be playing off the same beats. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Cool. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see that again. Oh my god, look at these environments. The environments are really creative. I like it. It's not just like a standard sci-fi. One of the interesting things will be to see how open this game will be. Because, you know, past games, they have a mission-based structure, so... I'm really interested to see whether this will have the same. I mean, I I don't mind mission-based games, but do they really have like a place in 2023? I'm not sure. Uh, it will be really interesting to see how open the game is. It looked like it looks like it will have huge areas, huge combat zones. Liking the movement. That is some really nice movement there. Dashing around because again, just playing AC3, the movement can be pretty clunky pretty clunky. This looks really cool. It's like Shadow of the Colossus, but a robot. I'm loving these environments. Yeah, I do have to say, this is one of those uh, 2023 modern game gameplay reveals. I mean, is this a gameplay reveal? Um, I, I'm assuming this is all pretty much, not pre-rendered, it's in engine, but um, you're not actually seeing what the game will actually play like. Um, it's very coordinated, but it's cool, it's cool. You get like a flavor, it looks like it's armored core, basically. I'm loving these transformations. Nice. One thing I'm liking is I'm seeing a lot of variety in these robots. That's what I want. I want to be able to play however I want, which is this is looking like it. That is such a cool mech.
Yeah, this is... <laughs> That's a cool one. Like a tank. Some of these are reminding me, you know what I was watching? I was watching um, old like gameplay walkthroughs of Lost Planet, if you guys remember that. That one had a robot like that, that had treads and it transformed. Man, Lost Planet was cool. This is looking really good actually. I am loving just the whole vibe and sort of look of the game. It has a nice sort of color palette to it. It's bleak, but it's not like overly. What the fuck was that? That's the villain from Iron Man 2, right? The really shitty one. Whiplash, that's what he was. Alright. Bring back the car to Sandworm, but actually like do it properly this time around, please. Alright. Oh wait, we have more. I, I just gotta pause again. Yeah, that's like my main thing. I'm really, really interested on how all of this will play out. Whether it's going to be like Demon Souls have a central hub and then you branch out into areas or missions. I don't think this is gonna be open world. I, I highly doubt it. Uh, but this is looking very impressive. Co-op, I'm assuming. Call sign Raven. Priority subject for termination. High on the list. I think this is... This is probably hinting at multiplayer, right? This looks like co-op. And then you being hunted probably hints at multiplayer, which is cool. I'll take some armored core mech on mech action. Call sign Raven. Priority subject for termination. That's that's the mech I want. Probably not gonna happen. So it looks like you have a little bit more of the the quick movement and the quick dodging, because man, like I said, as I was saying, AC3 Armored Core 3, which came out in 2002, and I'm playing, it's just so clunky. With like the the modern gamer brain, you know, with like the 2023 gamer brain. It's just, I like the game, I'm enjoying playing it, but man is it clunky. It really feels like you're controlling a robot and not in a good way necessarily. And this looks like it will have sort of the souls dodge mechanic or sort of the quick dodging, which is something I really like. If there's one aspect from should bring over from their soul series would be the dodge system. I'm assuming these are, these look like bosses. Yeah, that's definitely a boss. That shit looks like that thing that Dante jumps into in Devil May Cry 4. That stupid weapon. Yeah, these are bosses. A hundred percent. Looks like there will be a nice variety. Man, I gotta mention... I gotta mention these environments look so great. I'm down for some dystopian sci-fi vistas. Very wallpaper like. This is. Let's see how far they can fly. On borrowed wings. On the release date. August 25, nice. Okay. You know what? That's sort of kind of what I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting like September, October, but nice. August 25, that's a couple of months away. And, you know, time flies when you're having fun. And. When you're having fun, yeah, this game will be out super quickly. Standard edition, yeah, digital output. Pre-order now, there's a pre-order bonus. Nice, I'll say nice. I mean, you gotta play the game, but yeah, you'll get a new mech. It looks like there will be a good selection of mechs. Um, so, you know what? I have to say I'm really interested. Oh, is this game coming out on PS4 as well? Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, again, this is a gameplay reveal as much as uh, these things can be considered gameplay reveals. We are able to see what this game will feel like and I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm really liking it. I just really hope they keep the sort of simulation aspect of you like being able to switch out your max gear and all of that, which I think they will. And also 
the thing I'm interested in is just the gameplay structure, because I'm almost guaranteed, or I'm almost certain that this is not going to be mission-based, but we'll have to see. I'm really interested to get further details, and yeah, I gotta say, I'm hyped. Can't believe that we're getting another From release this soon after Elden Ring, which after this we'll have the eventual Elden Ring DLC, and then just going on and on. I would love for this to be its own franchise as well, but we'll see how the product turns out. In the end, I have faith in FromSoft. They usually don't let shit fall through their hands unless it's Ninja Blade. I think that was the one. Yeah, Ninja Blade. Yeah, cool. This is really cool. If you guys want to see me play Armored Core 3, I'm going to leave the link to it at the end here. You can go check that out. The second episode of that series should be up tomorrow. And yeah, if you did enjoy this little reaction, make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications because there's plenty of Souls content coming on the channel. And now I can say Armored Core content as well. So yeah, what do you think of this trailer? Do let me know below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in one of my other videos. Peace out and goodbye.